everyone. Over the last week, I've had the great opportunity to talk to different product leaders and partners in our industry. I'm so excited to share with you all of their insights of what they are doing with their customers while building on top of the WebEx platform with our WebEx calling solution. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, I'm really excited today to have join with me Mahesh Shah, who's gonna tell us a little bit about his journey with his company, CDK, on the WebEx platform. Welcome, Mahesh. Hi, thanks, Larissa. So tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from, and CDK. Yeah, sure. So um, name's Mahesh Shah, and I run our, um, our product and technology at CDK. Uh, so that's everything to do with you know, R&D, product management, even the internal cybersecurity and, and IT. Um, most of my career has been in high tech, but I've uh, been in automotive now for uh, a couple of years. So what do we do? We, we basically um, build and sell the software that powers the dealerships in North America. And uh, as you can imagine, it's a complicated space because we have to integrate with every single manufacturer out there, um, everything from Ford through Ferrari um, and McLaren, uh, who I know is a sponsor that you guys sponsor. Uh, but we power all of these guys and we make sure that we power their sales, their service, and um, you know everything to do with parts and, and business office. Um, fully half the cars sold in North America flow through our system. So three to 4% of GDP runs through us. We have hundreds of thousands of um, Cisco phones that we also provide uh, these dealerships. Uh, and um, if you think about it, we have uh, a couple of billion uh, service records that flow through us as well. Every time you go to service your car, it kind of comes through uh, through our system. So um, if you go to any website to buy or sell a car, Kelly Blue Book, whatever, a lot of the data comes from us as well. So we, we power many parts of the automotive solution. That sounds like a ton of conversations on the phone, in person, actually, I'm assuming also moving into chat. Help us understand a little bit more about your just general collaboration experience and communication experience between customer and dealership. You know, what worked before is, you know, you call the dealership and it comes in through, you know, the, the whole PBX and, and gets routed and, and traditional systems. So although we have a lot of that, more and more what customers are looking for is, you know, they want that collaboration at the right point and at the right uh, time. So, you know, whether you're buying a car and you want chat interaction, just like any other industry, um, or what we notice in service when, when you're getting a car service is they want much more multi, um, you know, multi video type um, solutions or a video chat with somebody. It just engenders more trust, right, with your service rep, um, where you get to talk to John or Mary at the, at the dealership and they're explaining to you what's going on and how they're going to take care of your car. So we see the, the need for collaboration across you know, the sales process, we see it in the service process, and then we even see it within the dealership, you know, as um, a lot of people are buying cars online now, and you don't, the people at the dealership, the sales guy doesn't have to be uh, in the, the, the dealership to sell it. I definitely bought my last car on my phone. Uh, so I am one of those people who have transitioned away from attending the dealership. Uh, it's interesting you mentioned driving, you know, a closer relationship with video. One of our visions for uh, our overall vision for WebEx calling is actually taking that experience from a audio or hearing only experience to a seeing and a doing experience. So doing more on top of the entire WebEx platform. And speaking of the platform, we are building an entire platform for partners like you to be able to build your custom solutions because you don't just provide collaboration. You guys actually provide a whole wealth of solutions um, as a platform. Maybe tell us a little more about the integrations and capabilities uh, throughout the, the solution you guys sell. Yeah, so so like I said, I'll use service as the example, right? Um, and when somebody shows up at a dealership, actually it all starts well before that. Um, what we're working on is um, very early, one is get all the connected car data to them. So give them everything uh, that tells them what's going on with their car. And then if they've got questions, you know, we want them to be able to click on a collaboration type button where they can connect with somebody at the dealership and they, they can talk to somebody about what is happening on their car and so they can interpret what's happening. Um, show up if they want to, get, to get stuff working, actually start working on stuff, but then maintain that ongoing communication with somebody there who's curating them through the entire experience, right, of uh, what's going on with their car, how it's getting repaired, when they're going to get it back and maybe even getting it delivered back to them. And a lot of that is really engendered through that 
ongoing trust-based communication uh, and transparency of data. And so that's really you know, some of the stuff we're talking about. Now we can't do that without your platform, candidly. Uh, with the traditional systems, this kind of stuff is really hard to do. So we need all the APIs, we need the platform because we want to inject this into the right parts of the workflow and we want to determine that workflow with our customers um, and then just you know, leverage the tech to go and move quickly uh, to, to go and deliver those solutions. Yeah, we hear you. This is definitely a customer journey evolution. Uh, and even in our contact center, we're looking at how we can create that omni-channel touch as well as awareness of that entire customer journey. Speaking of customers, this is a scary time for many customers that we hear of. It's a very large transformation. You know, having phones that ring, which is the, in some cases, the heart and soul of your business and your connection to your customers. You know, what are things you're hearing and how are you guiding your customers through this transformation? The reality is I don't think the phones are going to go away anytime soon, candidly. It's uh, people still want those phones. So they still want to be able to talk uh, through those telephones and, you know, we will continue to support that. So one, you guys are helping us by shifting everything to the cloud. So going to the cl cloud calling uh, solutions, that'll make it easier for our customers to also get the latest features because they want the analytics, uh, they want uh, you know data, they want intelligent routing when something comes through. So if I left a voicemail message with somebody and they're calling me back, it comes straight to me. They don't have to go through the phone trees. All those types of things that drive convenience and simplicity are critically important on the phone side of things. Then in addition, as they get used to that aspect of it, you know, then connecting that back in. So our customer being, let's say the dealer, um, uh, then being able to also communicate through, you know, the phones and, you know, through a mobile phone, through uh, texts and those types of things, through all of these individual experiences. Um, what our customers are saying is, look, they're actually screaming for this kind of stuff. Um, they, they especially want um, the trust-based dialogue that can occur as they're engaging with their customers through the entire journey. So they're not necessarily going to see it as, hey, I'm switching from phone to, to this. They just see it as an augmentation of collaboration, right, where they're able to connect uh, with their customer when, when they're working with them. So I actually think most of our customers are pretty excited about this. I couldn't agree with you more. I think all of us are going through this transformation in our personal lives when we're engaging with various people we purchase from. Well, thank you so much, Mahesh, for sharing all of your learnings. Really appreciate it. And I actually think it's applicable not just to the auto industry, but to many different industries. And we're excited to take those learnings and share them with all of our customers. Thanks. Thanks, Larissa. Hello, everyone. My name is Larissa Horton, and I am excited to be here with you guys today for our fireside chat with Rich Shaw. Hello, Rich. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. I would love to tell everyone about all of the things that we are learning in the market today and what you guys are seeing with customers. But first, let's start a little bit on where AT&T is at. Who is AT&T? Obviously, we know this tier one service provider name, but would love to hear your words. Fantastic. Well, uh, Larissa, first of all, thank you very much uh, for inviting me to join you today. Very excited to, uh, to be here and, and talk about really all the great things that we have going on in the marketplace. So I'm a Rich Shaw. I have the voice and collaboration portfolio for AT&T Business, and it really spans a, a, a broad set of capabilities that we offer to our customers, both large and small, single site to worldwide you know, uh, international companies. Uh, we bring all of the tools for, for calling, for meetings, for collaboration. Uh, we spend a, a lot of time uh, working in uh, building contact centers and, and really world-class solutions for customers, both large and, and very small. So that's really what we're about at AT&T. Awesome. So we are definitely focusing on the same problem. Um, I think that problem is a pretty wide and broad problem. You mentioned contact center and all of collaboration. So not just calling, but calling is a critical part of this transformation. Speaking of that, what are you hearing and seeing specifically from these customers in their transformation and transition to the cloud from where they are deployed today? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's fascinating because er every one of the conversations, you know, have a number of, of really common themes. Um, you know, we are really at such an inflection point inside of businesses as they're trying to make a transition, trying to find ways to be more flexible, to be able to work uh, uh, anywhere, uh, to be able to allow their employees to work you know, anywhere. So I'd say one of the big themes that we see is around flexibility. I think the other piece is, that's really important is also 
finding solutions that are simple. You know, people as they're working, as they're using, you know, these are tools that enable companies to uh, work with their clients, work inside their, their own businesses, to generate revenue, to bring, you know, strong service. And they don't want to have to think a lot about the technology. You know, they don't want to have to, to, to be stuck on it. So they're really looking for, you know, easy and simple ways that they can use these technology components to be successful in the marketplace. When you talk about full solutions, this is actually where I think WebEx is very, very strong because we have an entire platform for you to design a solution on. It's not about single workload or a point solution. It's really about creating custom solutions um, and integrating into everyday workflows for all of the things, as you mentioned, that they need to do to run their business. So how have you guys been leveraging or have you been thinking about um, that strategy of the entire portfolio uh, across hardware and software? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a great question. When you think about the, the I talked about simplicity and really the ab ability to integrate into companies, the fact that Web WebEx is a platform really helps us have that conversation with our customers. As an example, you've got some customers that may begin as a meetings customer. You might have a customer that begins as a calling customer. So they, you know, they begin to have a, an understanding of, a, of an aspect of the platform and they may, not, may, they may not have a full understanding that there's an entire suite of capabilities that we can bring to them to use. So oftentimes our conversation, if they're familiar with a, a component, is really to go in and, and educate them on the incremental pieces, the, be able, the ability to move from meetings to calling. Maybe even more importantly, the ability to take meetings, calling, and contact center together to be able to, to run the business. The other piece that I think is really great, especially with the hardware integration, is you know, some of the solutions that are out there are just software-centric you know, only, and people need to use and have access to different form factors you know, as, as they operate. You know, it may be easier for a, a call center agent, as an example, to have a world-class headset and, and, a, and a device in front of them, whereas your, your road warrior, you know, wants something software-centric. But you've got to really be able to help your, your customers meet it anyway. So I think the nice aspect of the platform is to be able to bring the right tools and capabilities and even some of the hardware components, being able to reuse investments that they've already made uh, to, to uh, use world-class cloud solutions going forward. I think one of our biggest strengths is the control hub and how yes. we actually bring it all together from a management standpoint, um, understanding usage, adoption, all from one place. It's one of the pain points I definitely see with customers where just trying to understand what your users are experiencing goes across multiple platforms and ecosystems. And many times it's hard to see what that end-to-end -end is. And I think this is really where the advantage of buying it all together from one partner really comes into play. With that, uh, I would like to ask, you know, what is your advice for the customers who are at this decision point now of what do we do, where do we go, how do we get there? I think there's some folks that are even just struggling to start. I uh, mm -hmm. would love to hear what you've been guiding your customers. As you think about it, and we dial the clock back a year, you know, last March we had some just unprecedented decisions we had to make. You know, in the course of a weekend, had to make a decision, send everybody home, and find a way to operate differently right now. And so what I, what I discovered from a lot of customers, you know, they took you know, quick hits, you know, let's throw together what we can and, and let's just find a way to survive. Really now the conversations are, you know, we've been able to, <clears throat> to, to show that remote work is okay. We've been able to prove that uh, the, these new modalities are, are fine to, to, to work as companies. And now it's stepping back to look at what's the right platform? You know, what, what's the right strategy that you want to put in place as a, as a company and, and then begin to execute steps in that to move forward? So it's kind of moving from that reactive mode of how do we live to, you know, to, to fight tomorrow to now that we're in this mode, how can we use these tools and use technology to leverage being even better uh, and, and more responsive in the marketplace as we go forward. I couldn't agree more. Hybrid work needs strategic design and not just knee-jerk reaction solutions. And I think that is what WebEx can bring to all of our customers uh, with our partners. With that, I just want to thank you, Rich, for all of your time here, sharing all of your knowledge. This is going to be incredibly useful to all of our customers. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Now I have joining with me Alex Doyle from Verizon. Alex, tell us a little bit about yourself and Verizon and your role there. Thank you very much, Larissa. It is great to be here. So uh, I'm part of Verizon, as you guys know, a huge mobile operator in the US, but also a global network around the world. Uh, I'm specifically in the business part of Verizon. It's my pleasure to work with an amazing team that runs all of our business communication solutions, and that's calling, collaboration, call centers, connectivity. You guys have customers, like you said, all around the world and of all sizes, small, medium, large, international. Um, tell us what you're hearing from your customers. What are the challenges that they're up against in this transition to the cloud? I tell you, it's a great privilege, the customer base we have. Literally, it's all the way from a, a one line, 89 year old grandmother in Montana who started a, an Etsy business all the way to the biggest multinationals in the world, all the way to the federal government. I'll tell you, if I tried to percolate all the things they said, I'd say it comes down to speed, right? You know, there's that famous expression, there's, there's decades where nothing happens, and then there's weeks when decades happen. And, and that's where we are. So the, really what they're asking for is speed, speed of transformation. We are definitely hearing the same thing. People want to get value out of their new solution as fast as possible and really want to minimize any business impact. So when we look at business impact, we actually look at the entire WebEx platform. And as you mentioned, you don't just sell calling or any one service. Similarly, WebEx sells an entire portfolio on our platform across calling, meetings, messaging, contact center, devices. So how do you guys plan to build your solutions on top of this entire platform? Well, we really look at it uh, on a segment basis. I think if you look at where Verizon serves these large enterprises, where we serve uh, governments, federal governments, public sector, we really start with that whole WebEx suite. And like you said, Larissa, it's the whole suite, right? The days are gone where people will do best of breed and try to do this calling and this call center. You know, the speed, the single user interface, that's critical. So really we lean in hard to that WebEx suite, but what you'll see Verizon add into it is that mobile DNA. You know, the, the speed of uh, deploying a network on 4G or even 5G is, is way, way faster than doing it the traditional way. So you'll see us add in the wireless network, add in security, add in managed services. But sure, the core of it, especially in enterprise, is that suite. When you get down to the small side, uh, you know, Verizon Wireless is selling in retail stores and indirect to kind of that, you know, sub 20 or small end of the customers. There, we really try to simplify. We have a great service called Verizon OneTalk based on Cisco technology. That's the first mobile UC service in the United States. We've taken that Cisco technology, built it right into the Verizon wireless network, really trying to make that a transactional, simple sale, really more calling centric. So we've got the whole suite for the sophisticated customers, OneTalk for the mobile first kind of smaller end of the market. It sounds like you guys have already done a ton of work that will really help this future of hybrid worker. So tell us a little bit more about how you guys think of work transforming and hybrid work moving forward. I, I'll come back to that speed comment, right? I think, um, you know, when people come to us, they're usually asking for some advice from Verizon based on literally these hundreds of thousands of business customers we have around the world. And, and when we look at the small end of the market, it usually is a pretty clean transformation. Like really in, in an hour, we can turn them up and put them on the new platform because we've taken all that back office and OSS management systems of Verizon Wireless, which serves hundreds of millions of customers and put that to work for the collaboration suite. On the enterprise side, they're looking for that same speed, but you mentioned hybrid work, right? I see these enterprises need a little more help and support for the hybrid side of the house. We couldn't agree with you more. I think we are seeing that transformation across the board. Uh, the real estate footprint is changing. Mobility is coming front and center for everyone. And we're really excited to have partners like you to definitely get us there and help all of these customers transform. Thank you so much for your time, Alex. This has been incredibly knowledgeable for all of our uh, viewers today, and I'm sure we'll be able to use this to guide them in their transformation. Thanks, Larissa. Thanks to the whole Cisco collaboration team.